What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back with another video today. You can see we've got a lot more room. Actually, we, we have a lot more room and that is because today we're unboxing the Hot Toys Hulkbuster. Super excited for this one. And uh, let me just show you what we're working with. Let me show you the box, okay? I've been waiting on this for years. Finally made it happen. This is, this is the box. This is the box. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty excited about this one, guys. I say, uh, let's get to it. Jarvis, drop my needle. I am Iron Man. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video today. We're gonna look at the Hot Toys Hulk Buster. Super excited about this thing. Uh, like I said, years, years in the decision to actually buy this thing. And I actually released a video earlier about why I decided to buy it, why now was a good time. You know, because this is a, it's an expensive figure, it's expensive. Uh, but I wanted to uh, take this time, we're gonna unbox it. I still have yet to ever seen one out of the box. I've never seen one in person. This is the only time I've actually seen it. Uh, I've seen the packaging. So I thought it'd be cool to go ahead and break out another figure to show you a little bit of a size comparison. I actually have it right here, let me grab it. This is the Mark 43, all right, that goes along with Age of Ultron, okay? And I wanna show you this just for size comparison. If I can get this for not, not fall over for a second for me. Can you do that for me? All right, size comparison, a regular six scale Iron Man figure next to the box of Hulkbuster. Like that's that's your normal, and this is on a base. Yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's open this bad boy up. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up. So first off, we've got this slip cover, which honestly is gonna hit my camera rig. So uh, hold on, let me just, let me take it down to the floor for a second. Uh, if you wanna know, this is about, I don't know, Maybe about 28, 30 pounds, something like that. I don't really know. I didn't measure it. But uh, let's see if we can get this slip cover off without, without hurting it too much. All right, here we go. Here we go. Slip cover. Boom. All right. If anybody was wondering, this is, uh, that's, that's the slip, uh, slip cover. Let's get this out of here. All right, so a um, couple things we've got. It looks like it, okay, good. This right here is actually the uh, the deluxe. This is actually the extra arm, I believe. The jackhammer arm is actually in here. So uh, that's the extra arm. It says Hulkbuster Deluxe right there. Look, Whoop. upside down, Hulkbuster Deluxe. Um, so there's that, I, we'll get that in a second. The actual figure itself. Ah, let's look at this thing. All right, here we go. The actual figure itself is humongous. So we've got Iron Man Hulkbuster. We've got, looks like some instructions of some kind. I have no idea. I do have a knife uh, because it's got this little plastic uh, wrap around it. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Uh, pretty excited, guys. Got to be honest with you. First time ever seeing one of these in person. Uh, so I don't know if that's... I don't know. I know. I know a lot of you guys are actually considering picking this thing up, and um, I will try to determine whether or not that's a good idea for you. Actually, I'll try to determine if it's a good idea for me to have picked it up, and then you can kind of just make your own decision. Um, but let's go ahead and get this thing off of here. It is very, very well packaged, as you can 
expect from, uh, from Hot Toys. All right, so we don't need, we'll need that. Okay, you ready to do this? I think this is good. I don't know what this is. Is this like, uh, oh, there's pieces in there. Okay. All right, all right, hold on. There's pieces. All right, we've got pieces. Let's see if I can get you here. All right, here we go. We're good? Boom, right there. All right, so we have uh, instructions, which we're probably gonna need at some point. We do have the bust. So it does come with the Mark 43 bust. You can fit the entire figure into the uh, suit. I have. I really don't have any intentions of doing that, but there's the bust. Uh, it looks just like a Mark 43. I mean, it's not die cast, it's plastic. There's this piece back here, this magnetic that actually uh, sits into the suit. Uh, on off switch for some lights. It does have a light up function here. Uh, so we might mess with that. Uh, so that's kind of cool, put you to the side. We do have some extra pieces going on right here. Looks, looks like the uh, pieces that go around the neck assembly in the actual suit. Uh, so we're definitely gonna need those. So we'll just kind of put these off to the side. We'll give you a close up on all this stuff. This is definitely the uh, neck assembly piece that covers up the, uh, the bust when you get in there. So there's that. Uh, these are all connected by magnets. So we've got some extra pieces here. I'll, I'll walk you guys around this. Let's just get this thing opened up. Uh, and a, additional reactor cover. I guess you can change that out if you like. To, uh, I don't know. I don't really, I don't know. We'll see. All right, we've got this. We've got some arm cover deals. I'm gonna go over here. Actually, I might as well just take these out of the plastic. These are not, these are not die cast. These are, these are plastic. And I don't, I don't know how much of this thing is actually die cast. I just know it's heavy. Uh, it's either a lot of plastic and some die cast, which I imagine is actually what it is. Uh, but we do have these pieces right here, kind of covering up the paint app on them is pretty sweet. So uh, what else do we have? Is that it for that part, that compartment? Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, first time looking at this thing, let's check it out. I hope I have it the right side up. Boom! Woo! All right. Holy crap! I knew this was big, but I had no, I had no idea it was this big. Uh, holy. Woo! Um, I expected it. Here's what I expect. I, I expected it to like take up like maybe this much of the case and like some accessories up there. This no joke takes up the entire freaking pe Holy crap. Wow. That is, uh, that's, that's something. That is something. The feet. Oh my God. All right, let's just, oh God. Oh guys, let me tell you what, man. Um, I'm trying to make sure, I have the mic up here, so I'm trying to make sure we got good audio. If I go over here, it's not gonna sound great. Um, this thing is flipping I mean, I know people say it's large, and I knew the box was large. I knew the jackhammer extra arm piece, wherever I put it, is over there, it's large. This is re ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Uh, for those of you in the Facebook group who have, have told me that you got you know, like a couple more payments left on yours and you're, you're waiting for it to come in, and, you, and I showed pictures of the box, and you're like, holy crap, it's that big. The answer is yes, holy crap, it's that big. Oh my God. Um, like I have some quarter scale P like premium formats. So I got General Grievous down here, which is like the largest piece in my, well, he's pretty free. He takes up a lot of real estate. This guy right here, whole nother level, whole nother level. Um, wow, that's crazy. All right, so right off the bat guys, I'm gonna give you a close up look at this guy. Uh, this is here's my hand. now I don't have large hands, but I mean, it's, it's freaking, it's a, it's a big figure, right? Uh, so we have, Look at the level of detail in this thing. It is humongous. So let's take a look at the head sculpt first. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I hope you guys, I hope the details come across for you guys. The paint, the paint battle damage on that sculpt right there. Absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And the battle damage going on here, the little bits and pieces, the detail work going on here. Star foam, maybe not so much, but that's part of it. But look at this. Look at the level of detail on this guy absolutely beautiful now i hope the red color is coming across correct you guys it is absolutely it's fantastic the gold everything about it it reminds me a lot of the mark 46 concept 
Uh, as far as the color schemes, uh, reminds me a lot of that, the, the, the deep red and, and gold. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Obviously, it's based on the Mark 43 colors, which I have the figure of. We'll take a look at that a little later. Um, but the feet, look at the feet. What the heck, man? I mean, I had an idea of how large this thing was. I mean, oh, you know, dimensions and specs and all that stuff on the website. But you really don't get a feel for it until you unbox the thing. And it is absolutely unbelievable. So here is the, uh, the bust I was showing you earlier. The six-scale bust that actually fits inside of the figure. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It has a light-up feature. Here's back there, a little light-up and the little magnet that goes inside. Uh, pretty cool piece. That's probably what I'm going to be using. These are actually the armor pieces that go on the outside of the arm, the shoulders, or the forearms. Uh, again, the level of detail and the battle damage, everything about this, it does not scream toy. And I think that's the cool thing about Hot Toys and their Iron Man figures is uh, they're collectible action figures and doesn't scream, you know, uh, it doesn't scream toy. The, the battle, if it was, I guess if it was perfectly clean, then it will look more like a toy, but the battle damage parts are just awesome. Uh, so we do have quite a few of those. We've got the different reactor cover you can put on uh, the bust right here. You've got these pieces that are going to help enclose the bust into the uh, suit. you got this piece right here. These are all connected by magnets. As you can see right there, magnets. And so those are pretty cool. Then you've got this little collar piece. The detail on this is, I mean, the metallic shot, you guys can see it in the light. Uh, it is super super cool uh, Batteries wise we got a whole pile of batteries, which I think is actually less than the mark 50 six scale figure, which is good, but uh, I'm, I'm on the fence with uh, putting all the batteries in I probably will uh, by the way if you ever get an Iron Man figure these screwdrivers suck get your own precision screwdriver Don't use these they're they're garbage um, But the batteries uh, we're probably gonna put those in we'll see I don't know, but um, let's go ahead and Take this guy out of the box and just, uh, oh, look, battle damage piece. Boom! Got a battle damage piece. What? Pretty sure that one goes, uh, goes right there. But look at that, man. Super, super cool. All right, let's get this guy out of the box. All right, so just right off the bat, guys, you can see, again, the battle damage going on the head sculpt there down to the chest plate, which is a removable chest plate. I would definitely have to check out the instructions for how to do all that stuff. The arms, which is this whole arm unit, actually, you can change it out for the jackhammer arm uh, when he's pounding on Hulk. And uh, just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So I think we got to get, let's see, this, this guy should open up here. Let's see, yeah, he should open up there. Boom, you can open that guy up. Uh, pretty sure this whole part opens up as well. So we're going to have to check out the instructions and figure out how not to break this thing. That would be awesome. These pieces right here actually should interlock right here. So they should go up just like that. And uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time with the instructions uh, before I get getting this thing apart. But just the initial reaction, guys. I mean, just look at the level of detail on the kneecaps, the engineering. The fact that you can fit an entire 6 Iron Ironman figure inside the suit is just unbelievable. Uh, the feet, you can see right here the detail as well. Got all this styrofoam pieces. I need to get all these pieces out. Um, but absolutely jai freaking enormous. All right, so I'm putting in this uh, battery compartment here. I've got this one. I got this one in pretty much no problem. And uh, there's a battery compartment. Uh, sorry, lighting it. There's a, a battery compartment in the hand. And uh, for those of you who are picking this up, uh, I just figured this out. I'm sure th I, I did not see this in the instructions. Um, but this piece actually gets right here and I was having a hard time getting this off to get to the battery compartment But this piece right here slides up and actually allows you to get tool uh, Actually behind the piece so I get to slide that up and there's a little slot right there You see the little little thumb slot right there uh, where you can get the tool in there and get behind there So if you have any issues with this uh, be, There you go slide that up Easy peasy. So after you've got that on, you can actually flip this little switch. Let's see if we get there. And boom, we have an arc reactor in the hand. So, so far I've got the hands put in. I've got the uh, headpiece or the head uh, light up function here. And I've also got uh, this piece right here, which actually lights up all these things uh, and these guys here on the side. So, so far light up functions are pretty sick. Uh, I'm not sure how much, I mean, I've got uh, probably a good ways to go because I've got a lot of uh, I got a lot of batteries left. So uh, Yeah, 
All right, so we got the batteries on both sides. These are LR44, so I'm sure these are the larger ones. And uh, we're just gonna flip the switch right there, flip the switch right there, and uh, that's pretty bright, guys. Let's see if there's got any, oh yeah, we got lights on the front too. All right, so I gotta get these little styrofoam pieces out, but I uh, still haven't taken those out. So yeah, we've got uh, lights down on the bottom of the uh, inside of the ankles or the shins. Uh, we've got the knee places here, which obviously I've got Star from still in there. Um, I've, I guess I left those on. So there's your uh, repulsor blaster there for your hand, uh, which I guess I should pop that back off and turn those off so the batteries don't die. But it's not that hard. Once you get it off the first time, it's really not that hard. It's a little switch right there. And, uh, and then they pop right back off. It's just these little tabs right here, so it's not too bad. Um, but um, yeah, the, uh, the light up features so far are pretty, I mean, they're pretty impressive. I kind of, um, I kind of dig it. And yes, I have a giant uh, Lazy Susan for this. But um, yeah, check out that. Detail on those arc reactors is sweet. And just like that, guys, I've got all the batteries in. It honestly took me about 30 minutes or so. And that's mightly because I, I went live on Instagram to chat with you guys for a minute. Uh, this guy was actually the biggest difficulty uh, because the head panel just didn't want to uh, come loose. Um, but it's not, uh, it's not bad. It's got a battery part compartment back here in the back. It's got one on top of the head. Uh, you know, it's there. The batteries and the light functions in the legs are freaking awesome. The light function up here is awesome, which I love this because this is just like magnetic. This is super easy. Um, barely an inconvenience. Um, there's a switch right there if I can flip this for you guys. But look at that. Absolutely epic. Uh, the lighting feature there is sick. Uh, we've got lights going on here as well. And I just think everything about this particular uh, light up function is pretty awesome. Uh, we do have the arc reactor. If we open up the chest plate here, let's see here. Oh, I got to put this here. And, and this is uh, it really uh, my first time really messing with this thing. So just getting the batteries put in there has been a little bit of a challenge, but it wasn't it wasn't all that bad. So there we go. So there's the arc reactor, and uh, there it is, guys. Looks pretty pretty flipping unbelievable. I mean, the level of detail is just, it's next level. It is absolutely beautiful. So uh, we're gonna keep uh, getting the uh, pieces put on. So I've got the batteries put into uh, this piece as well. So this one goes uh, on this arm right here. We've got one that goes on this arm. I have not taken the jackhammer arm out just yet, uh, but uh, we've got the batteries in. So uh, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good place to start. Right, so let's give you a little update on the progress what I've got with this guy. I have the bust in there so i've got the uh six scale bust in there and i'm having a little bit of a little bit of a problem so i figured i'd show this with you guys uh this is a little magnetic pieces that go that go inside uh this piece pops right out via magnets it actually secures fairly well uh these pieces right here these little inside pieces uh swing out to the side this swings out to the side this guy right here can get up out of the way which is nice and then this piece right here uh, it's just a magnet if I can get the, it's actually they're fairly strong magnets, right? So uh, this piece right here just magnet. So the bus goes in there It actually goes in pretty easily. No issues with that whatsoever. So once you get that in uh, I, I mean if you want to turn the lights on you kind of got to decide that ahead of time because The switch is in the back of the bus. So there's there's that uh, but this piece right here again uh, just kind of slides right in and um, Fairly I mean you saw that right there. It, it snaps in pretty easily uh, then we've got this collar piece here that kind of goes in and i don't think i'm going to display mine with the bus you see how quickly that snaps in um, but i wanted to uh, at least show you guys kind of kind of what it looks like um, then we got this piece this is the piece i have a problem with so this piece actually comes in two separate pieces and uh, it's connected by this little piece right here you just slide in and it just kind of rotates around uh it's supposed to connect there's four little pegs you see the little one there one up the top uh there's also magnets and it's supposed to connect on these pieces right here so we've got a peg hole here peg hole here one there and then one there and what's supposed to happen i believe is this is supposed to come in this is supposed to come in all the way in right here and then these holes line up with these pegs right and like this one goes in the that one goes in fairly easily no issues with that but you see this gap i've got right here and i'm trying not to uh try not to break this thing it's kind of you know expensive um, but this right here actually doesn't want to go over there so i mean if i stretch it 
It's one of those things. So I've worked this joint pretty good amount to try and get it to go this way. I've also worked this joint. So, you know, I just haven't been unable to get both connected. And I think the issue is actually this joint. Because if you look head on, let's see if I can do this. If you look head on, and I'm looking at like the arc reactor here. Uh, it appears that this one's closer in than this one, but I have been unable to get it to uh, to go any further in. So I may uh, fiddle with that a little bit later. For right now, I, I mean, I guess it's okay once you close all these compartments down. It's not terrible. Uh, but again, I'm probably not going to display it with the bust in it anyways. But, I mean, you know, I just want to show you guys kind of the uh, the headache I was running into. Uh, overall, I'm enjoying the crap out of this thing. It's just freaking beautiful. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna fold up these pieces here. I have not changed out the battle damage piece right here yet. It is uh, right here, and I think the weathering on it is awesome. And I very well may use this. Uh, we we may end up using this, but for right now. And by the way, pardon the mess. I've got boxes and stuff going on, but um, I may do that. But anyways, uh, these pieces actually come up. This piece comes down, and you can connect there and, and there, and it's hard to do with one hand. Uh, so let me go ahead and close that up, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, ladies and gents, I have it built. That took me about, oh man, what time is it? It's, uh, it's taking me about two hours. Uh, and, and I want to walk you through a couple things. I still got some of these styrofoam pieces. I guess I should get those out. Uh, I'll walk you through a couple things with this thing uh, that I thought were scary as hell. Uh, first one being... If I can write this guy. These guys right here actually come out of the package. This uh, uh, this armor plate piece right here, the, the forearm armor. And there's two plastic pegs that go into, go into the arm. It required so much force to get that in. I thought I was going to break the flipping thing. And that scared the crap out of me. Uh, and But I saw it. They're, they're labeled left and right. You really can't mess them up. But holy crap, that was scary putting those pieces on there. So Tucker agrees. Uh, these, uh, I mean, there, there's a significant amount of force. So there's two pegs right here in the middle that go into the arm. I put all the pressure right where the support was on those pegs. I don't press down here, put right behind the actual piece. And it, it was a significant amount of pressure. Uh, so, uh, but they went on and it was, that was, that was quite scary. All right. So let's take a look at this guy. Finally got them all done. And there was a couple issues I ran into. I want to show you guys, but I got a little, uh, I know it's 2020 and 2019, the dab was in, but um, he will do a dab. It is a, it is a monstrous of a beast to pose. The legs are quite interesting. Uh, so the legs, let me rotate this guy around. The legs will move forward and back about 30 degrees. They do not move. They do not move side to side. You cannot split them. So that, that's the thing. Uh, but there's a good amount of articulation pretty much everywhere that you can expect for a figure of this uh, girth and this size. I mean, look at this thing. Holy crap. Absolutely monstrous. Again, like I said, these scare the crap I'm be putting on, but they are pretty neat. Uh, you can actually uh, open these guys up. Let's see if I can do this without going crazy. Uh, you can open these guys up. They do obviously light up. You've got a uh, little functions here. These, this little guy comes up and I don't know that you would actually display it like that. Uh, but these uh, these little guys do move back and forth. Um, you know, they're okay. I don't think I would ever display mine like that, but you might want to. But again, the detail, the paint apps are absolutely unbelievable. And one thing I thought was interesting is Hulkbuster, and I never knew this, Hulkbuster only has four fingers. Like, what the heck? So uh, I thought that was interesting. He doesn't have five. He only has four fingers. I, I I don't know. I just assumed he had five, but I was wrong. Uh, so there's that. So that's kind of interesting. The uh, part here I wanted to show you guys. Let me get uh, this arm out of the way. Boom! You hear those large ratchets. Uh, but one of the parts, one of the parts I was having a, an issue with was actually this head unit. So if you actually uh, pull these little pieces back, actually, I guess I can do this. Pull this. Oh, come on. This is hard to do with one hand. Pull that piece back. Uh, and you can actually take these pieces, pull these little flaps uh, out of the way, um, and then the headpiece comes up. So one of the parts I had issues with mine, and I don't, again, this is me not knowing anything about this thing other than what I saw in the instructions. Um, in order to rotate this down, 
uh, it kept hitting this piece. Uh, let's see if I can get this right here. It kept hitting this right here, so it wouldn't close all the way down. This actually has to come out and then down, and then it will actually do what it needs to do. Hopefully I was able to show you guys that. Let me try that one more time. So this piece right here, which is the collar piece that's magnetic, okay, this sits in there. When I tried to close mine and rotate the head down so it sits down like it's supposed to, it kept running, and it took me a minute to figure this out, but it kept running into this piece right here, right here at, the, uh, at this joint back here in the back. So what I had to do is actually pull this piece down then do this and then it would actually go down uh, like it's supposed to so you might have to do that on yours i don't know uh, but uh, there's that so all these little pieces obviously uh, you can change out for that battle damage piece which i have not done i have not taken the jackhammer arm out yet either uh, but it is on a little bit of a ball peg Let's see if i can do this right here uh, it's on a little bit of a ball peg which you can see back there anytime you see these guys make sure you are there it is uh, make sure you are uh, maneuvering this at the strongest point in the, of the connection. Don't go to the weakest point. Uh, one of the awesome pieces I thought I want to show you the detail on this arm. I mean, you look at all these little like cable conduits and stuff going around here. I thought that's pretty neat. Uh, this piece right here actually moves out of the way. If you need to, you can actually, uh, obviously, you hear that ratchet joint. Uh, this piece moves out of the way so you can do this. Uh, this uh, will turn 360 degrees on a ratchet. You can hear it's quite loud. But um, as you can see, I mean, this is a this is a significant arm, and for it to hold up like that, that tells you how strong uh, that joint, that ratchet is. It, it's it's pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, this part right here again opens up pretty much the same as the other one. So there's that. Nope, nope I pushed that down. There we go. Uh, and we've got the shoulder armor going back down. The legs. Oh my goodness. So the the legs are actually quite interesting. Um, let's see if I can rotate this back. I actually, it, it, it takes about all your strength to maneuver this thing with, because you don't want to grab it on like, like these pieces pop off pretty easily. Uh, if you're maneuvering them, but you don't want to grab it by like the weak points, like here or something. You want to grab it pretty much by the core and to maneuver it. Uh, I've actually had to pick it up, uh, by the core and maneuver the legs, uh, forward or backwards. Uh, and the battle of the legs do have articulation. If you can see, if you look at the gap here versus the gap here, so this back section of the leg does drop down and there is uh, some articulation here. It will go down, it is ratcheted as you can see uh, right there. You can see uh, kind of how I've got it there. But uh, these legs will go forward about 30 degrees, backwards about 30 degrees, and uh, there is some articulation there. But, you know, not being able to uh, rotate um, the legs or even uh, go side to side it does limit it so it's going to take me a, a minute to figure out the uh, the posing of it but I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually I think the intent of how I'm going to pose it how you doing there Hope Buster I think the intent of what I'm going to do is actually have this guy kind of opened up and the Mark 43 coming out of it that's kind of my intent for my display I have no idea where uh, he's going to go just yet uh, as far as in the collection room, he obviously is not going to fit on the glass display case. He's way too heavy for that. So I would not trust that, I don't think. Um, I, I, maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> that might be, might be a bad decision. Um, but we, we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to kind of pose him up and figure out something. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, in, in just a second. <laughs> Like I said, you get the Mark 43 up top, and the coloring matches the Hulkbuster quite well. But if you don't have the Mark 43, maybe you have the Mark 46 concept. It looks pretty flipping awesome next to it as well. I think the color scheme works great with the 43 concept as well. Uh, so you, if you have the 46 uh, concept, you I don't know that you necessarily need a 43 unless you're going for like screen accuracy. I get it. 
but color wise it's it's pretty it's it's pretty close you guys can see right there it is pretty stinking close uh, and I think it looks fantastic right there with uh, the 46 concept. And and 46 concept, you guys know, is one of my favorite armors uh, ever released by Hot Toys. I've, it's just, I don't know, I just love everything about this suit. I love the red, I love the gold, I love the classic colors, and it just looks fantastic. Next to the Hulkbuster. So I know I went out and got the 43, but I don't think I really needed to. Uh, again, unless you just want to be screen accurate. All right, so let's let's talk about this because I didn't break this out of the box, and I really I'm gonna save this for another video. The the deluxe arm, the jackhammer arm, no joke. Deluxe version jackhammer arm. Okay, it's got some cool pieces in it. Uh, I have not. I still have the plastic on it. It does come with a uh, a Veronica, which honestly is seriously underscaled. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, I'll figure out some way to display. I have an idea. Come back later, and I'll, I'll we'll talk about that. The jackhammer arm. I, I'm I'm a little. Let's see how. I'm on the fence with the jackhammer arm, whether or not you need it. So if you have the original Hulkbuster, I don't know that you need the jackhammer arm unless you have Hulk. I don't have Hulk. I don't have the Age of Ultron Hulk, um, but I, I do want to show you the arm because it is freaking gorgeous i don't think it's it's still got all the stuff on it so i guess i can try to make this happen um but i i don't think my current plan includes me buying a hulk so that that kind of begs the question should you get the deluxe or if you have no intentions of getting the the, the hulk should you just go for the original version of the Hulkbuster and save yourself a good chunk of change. I, I think I saw some of these on eBay for about eight fifty or nine hundred dollars, um, which is a lot less. I mean, it's a whole six scale figure less than if you were to get the deluxe. But I, you know, guys like me, I, I always buy the deluxe. I always, always, always advocate buying the deluxe. In this case, I just don't know if I'll ever display this. Uh, so this is actually a pretty cool piece. The entire arm uh, comes out. You, there's a, a bolt you got to remove in the right uh, arm there, and this comes out, and it's a whole thing. Uh, I, if you guys want to see a video on me changing this out, then I will do that. Um, I got it just because I normally get the deluxe. Now, what's interesting is this, this guy has three fingers versus this guy has four fingers. I don't know. I guess that's screen accurate. But he has that. But he also has this piece where that actually catches Hulk's arm and then he kind of flies off. Uh, I guess I can take this out. Um, when I opened this box, okay, originally, the size of this figure absolutely outweighs the cost. Okay, there's the arm. You could actually put the Hulk's arm in that figure or in that uh, piece. Sick piece. I mean, maybe I need the Hulk. I don't No, Let me put that back before I go buy another Hulk. Um, the, the, the size of this thing absolutely is worth and the presence of it I'm going to put that down there is 100% worth the expense and the price tag. Now, the question is, should you buy one? That's the question, all right? Uh, now, I, I think I talked to you guys later, I might have talked about in the previous video, that I, I spent like three years wanting, or maybe four years, like drooling over this piece that I never thought I'd own. Uh, I thought the Gladiator Hulk figure that I've got over here on the table was monstrous and just huge and it was just beautiful. And I don't know that... Uh, I don't know that I really wanted anything bigger than that. It's a huge piece. But when I got this out, um, I am 100% happy with this purchase. 100%. Um, if you're on the fence with picking this up and you have the means to do it, I, I would do it. I honestly would. That's my honest opinion, guys. I've spent, uh, this video is about a week in the making, four days in the making, five, four days, five days, something in the making. Uh, so I've spent some time with this figure, uh, a lot of time actually. I've been watching movies, like maneuvering it and trying to figure out what it'll do so I don't break it. I actually spent about two hours trying to figure out how to put it together because I didn't want to break anything, trying to figure out how to put this this guy in there. The batteries were super easy, barely an inconvenience. Uh, so those those were fine. 
Um, but the when you get close into this thing, photos do not do it justice. This video won't do it justice on the scale and the size of this thing. It just won't. Uh, I've watched videos. It does not do justice. It just doesn't. Um, I do have uh, the Mark 46 concept sitting right here. And I, I know this won't work as scale-wise because, it's again, it just won't translate. But this is the Mark 46. I'll put his arm down. Um, look at this thing. I do have the Mark 43. I did get the Mark 43. Honestly, out of all the Iron Man figures, the Mark 43 is my least favorite. Um, it's it's a cool figure. I mean, it's an Iron Man. It's a, it's a die-cast figure. It's just my least favorite. I don't like how they did the... The, the engineering's not as good as newer figures. So let me put it that way. The engineering's not as good. And maybe I'll save that for another video. Um, it's good looking. It looks great with the with the Hulkbuster. But honestly, now that I've got the Hulkbuster in hand, the Mark 46 concept, I think, is all you need. Honestly, that's just for me. Uh, I I just really like that armor. I don't know. You guys can let me know down below. But the, the paint colors and the, are just so, so close that um, I, I think they were just made for each other. I think they're fantastic. Um, but the the, for, the Mark 44, the Hulkbuster, again, you know, should you buy it? I, I think yes. I think yes. In fact, there's a link down below to Sideshow if you want it. Uh, you can you can pick this up. They've got payment plans. If you want to pick one up on that, that's, that's fine too. Uh, I made the decision to sell some figures that I really liked to fund this. So I, I, I talk about this all the time. Use your collection to pay for new collections. I do it all the time. That's why you guys will go. Uh, somebody made a joke earlier in like one of the groups or something that says, well, he won't have that very long. He'll get rid of it and have something else new. And the, the answer is yes, absolutely. I will do that. Absolutely. I will hold on to this for a period of time. I don't know how long that's going to be. It might be a month. It might be a year. It might be six. I don't know. I might sell it next week. I don't know. Um, but uh, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to hold on to this one for a good, a good while. I put them in my cabinet back here. And when I do a, a new, another room tour, I'll show you. Uh, I, I think I found a spot for it um, next to my General Grievous Premium format. And he's a good bit larger than uh, Grievous. But the... Oh, what's, the, what's the best way to put this? The, the shelf presence is so flipping awesome and i'm i'm all about that guys i'm all about that um i just i, I just freaking love it i do um is it worth 1200 bucks yeah i think so uh so there are some notable things i've learned about this over the past little bit and as i spend more time with it i might do like a follow-up video like you know one month later or something like that we'll see um one of them is uh the the joints are super tight uh, as far as the ratchet goes they're strong you don't have to worry about that i think i talked about this this little uh, armor piece scaring the crap out of me putting them on taking them off and putting them back on the second time not that big a deal but that first time was scary the leg joints uh i'll just here i'm gonna try and do this on camera i don't know how well this is gonna translate all right let me get some of this stuff out of the way all these little bits and pieces i'm, I'm gonna try this all right this is what literally, so you can see what you got to do to move the leg, okay? Number one, either pick him up from the, the hips or from the torso. In order to move the legs, okay, now that's going to be hard to do. I literally have wrapped my arm around this and then maneuver it. Uh oh look, I knocked the little leg pieces off. They come off easy. That's, not, that's these little pieces. Um, but you can hear the ratchet. There, right there. This is the only way to do it unless you have a helper right there. So there you go. Um, it's, I don't think it's going to fall over. I, I don't think it's going to do that. Uh, there is a little bit of a, a, a movement in the upper torso you can see here. So there's a little bit there, but it's not a whole lot. Uh, uh, mainly it's like the, the weight of the arms kind of making it lean forward. Um, but you can have him lean forward. You can have him walk. You don't have to have him stand straight up. You can see I've got uh, this leg out in front of this leg. Uh, but it's just, it is so, I, I don't, maybe I'll pose him like that. I don't know. Um, but that's kind of a thing. Once you get it posed, you're probably going to leave it in that pose for a good minute. I've been having a lot of fun. I put Deadpool in it a couple times. I've had uh, Wicket uh, from the... Uh, Star Wars in there. I've just had them interacting in different characters. I've got Transformers from 3A or 3-0, whatever the heck they're calling themselves now. I've got Optimus and Bumblebee, and they've kind of been messing around here. And I'm just enjoying it, and I think that's the main thing is, uh, am I happy with it? And I can say after the initial shock of the price tag 
and the shock of selling figures that I really liked, um, I'm happy with it. And that's my initial reaction, my initial thoughts. So uh, come back later. We'll have a live stream and you guys can ask questions. We'll talk about this thing. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I've got uh, Age of Ultron, Captain America coming, Wicket, uh, Leia and Wicket 2-pack. Um, some other hot Mandalorian. Obviously, whenever he shows up here, we'll do a whole thing on that. Uh, Remnant, i got another Remnant Trooper coming in. I already had one. Um, just uh, room tours and all kinds of crazy stuff. So if you haven't already subscribed, do that. We're on our way to 50,000. That's going to be epic. I've got a pretty special thing planned for 50K, by the way. So if you're here and you haven't subscribed, you might want to do that. Join the Facebook group as well. It's a good place to be. Jets Patrol, link down below. Guys, as always, collect what you like. Stuff like this. See you next time.